Hi and welcome to Fab Parks. Today we are in Bobejan Land, or whatever it's called. Uh, by the way, from now on it's going to be called only The Park for the rest of the video. Uh, it's in the middle of nowhere here, not far away from Brussels. It's part of the Parque Unidos, so same as uh, the Warner and the Parque d'Attractions in Madrid. Uh, it's my first visit, so I'm going to tell you what's on offer, what I like, what I didn't, and if it's worth a visit. But in the meantime, subscribe. So the park opens at 10, about half past nine, they open the gates already. Uh, we are already inside and I've seen all the major attraction testing, which for Parker you need to be far above standards, kind of mind blowing and never seen before. So far, so good. <laughs> So I've done Typhoon and what to say, well it's a girl's lower but uh, you would not expect. It's got some uh, classic uh, typical elements of girl's lower like the vertical chain lift but then it's a mix of uh, uh, a girl's lower with a wild mouse. Uh, it's got this kind of super flat uh, and low speed uh, uh, horizontal transitions and then it's got some uh, Core screw, but it's doing that like uh, uh, low speed, so it reminds me of Sequoia Adventure, uh, the Screaming Squirrel uh, in Gardaland. It's such a weird combination, not super intense, but definitely one of a kind. <laughs> Just out of fury, uh, done in first row, going backwards, uh, and I think we don't give enough credit to this girl's lower. So uh, it's one of a kind because you can uh, go forward or backward. There is a turning table, and the train is going to spin 360 degrees. How it works in the queue? Uh, at some point, you can choose if you want to do it just uh, forward or the referendum line, which means that uh, once you on board the train, uh, you're going to have two buttons, and you can select uh, if you if you can vote basically if you're going to want to go forward or backward. Of course, if you are in the referendum uh, queue, you are likely to want to do it backwards and so there you go. Uh, but apart from that, um, the launches are powerful, uh, the track layout is interesting, uh, it's really really fun and then it's not just spikes but it keeps like launching you uh, forward and backward to um, build up speed, it's really really nice. And then of course it's got this uh, uh, specific uh, peculiar thing that is nowhere to be seen. So uh, of course uh, uh, it's the flagship uh, coaster of this park, uh, but definitely uh, one to be in your bucket list. <laughs> Life is a dream Don't wanna wake up from her Strawberry cream 
From the uh, most famous flat ride of this park, King Kong, I'm just out of Revolution, the indoor coaster. So it's a weird thing. Imagine, first thing, the longest train you've ever seen on a coaster. Man, imagine like a, a cylinder, like a canister, and you got a spiral going up uh, inside, and then you go on the outside surface of this canister, and you start just doing the same spiral, but going down a bit more, you know, intense. Uh, that's it. Uh, no lights, no projection, there's no, not, nothing going on. It's the weirdest thing ever, but to be honest, it was fun. Thing, uh, I didn't like it uh, here it says five minutes in reality it was more than half an hour but I forgot to say that the theming of the queue line of the indoor coaster is actually really really good probably much better than the coaster itself and I'm just out of a rapid and I wasn't expecting this at all they got a, a similar drop to the one in Fantasyland River Quest uh, which is like wow uh, so there is not a lot of theming uh, apart from that uh, it's pretty lame but uh, that drop it's one of a kind approved Speedy Bob, which is the typical wild mouse of Mac, but look at the entrance. That's nice. So just out of a drink catcher, this is the newest coaster, which is a, a family suspended by the coma. Usual layout, I think it's identical to the one in Polton's Park. Uh, unfortunately, there is a, not a lot of theming on track, uh, and so you don't really justify the name or anything like that. There is a banner, but it's printed on the other side, actually. Uh, so, so it's okay, nothing to die for, but you know, it's a family the coma suspended coaster. <laughs> And then I'm just out of Terra Magma, which is a masterpiece. Uh, so imagine a log flume, which is fully indoor with three drops, uh, heavily themed, lots of props, uh, lots of different scenes, uh, projections, wind, whatever. It's uh, really, really good. I wasn't expecting that at all.
here is this original combo of a power cost by Mac with a log flume. Uh, they are all together in the same land. I think I've seen it somewhere else already. And then, apart from the spiral potato, there are lots of other attractions. Let's have a look. useful information, travel tips and tricks. First thing, there is a horse there. Uh, second, to get here, uh, I took a flight to Brussels and then I got a car. Uh, it's around 60 kilometers, more or less one hour drive from Brussels airport. Uh, the ticket for the park, you can buy them from the official website, of course. The price is variable according to when you buy them and the day of your visit. But also there are resellers that usually are making huge discounts up to 50%. I'm gonna put a link in the description. And then being in Belgium, I expect everything to be bloody expensive. Let's start with the parking, which is 13 euros. And the music is now on. And so, whilst I'm queuing again for Fury, which <laughs> was just there, uh, here is the recap of uh, today's uh, review of the park. Uh, so, in terms of offering, it's pretty solid. There is uh, uh, a lot in terms of coasters, like Fury, of course, one of a kind. Terra Magma was a surprise, but also there is plenty of playground, indoor, outdoor, for kids, flat rides, uh, kiddie coaster. There is so much to do, water rides as well. Uh, so, the offer is pretty solid. Uh, and I kind of enjoyed it. I think it's a 360 degrees family um, park. Uh, really, really good. Uh, teaming of the areas is pretty good which was something I wasn't expecting as well uh, what I didn't like is like the queue times on the app and at the entrance of each attractions are completely wrong they say five minutes is 30 minutes they say 30 minutes is five minutes uh, but you know whatever uh, anyway is it worth a visit yes uh, especially if you're visiting Belgium and you want to combine with other parks say that she's talking I don't care subscribe <laughs>